it's what like anesthetics, the drugs used yeah. in anesthetics have saved millions of lives, you know, because they're able to keep them breathing. Yeah. While the, the doctors, the surgeons are operating on them. Yeah. So, you know, there's pluses on both sides, but uh, I don't think, I mean, wheatgrass is, the way it's going, what's going to happen, or what, what I see happening, the, what we're seeing in the burns in India, we're actually saving lives there with yeah. the wheatgrass. The reason being that what I wasn't aware of, because I've never worked on a burn unit, is that when these patients are admitted, they're left for two or three days. They don't put anything yeah. on them. All they do is put damp dressings yeah. to keep cool the skin. But in that time, the burn, the, the, the severe heat, is actually denaturing the tissue underneath. They then start to blister, and then they have to do all this, their skin grafting. They have to scrape off all the old the burnt area. Then they take skin off of the fresh area, and they put it over the... You know, they graft the skin. And what, our, what the wheatgrass is going to do, and we, we saw evidence of that, is, is uh, reduce that dramatically. Yeah. And also stop their pain. Put it stop infection, away, yeah. And reduce the inflammation. Yeah. And that way, this, the, the patient is going to be much better off. Yeah. The man who couldn't lift his arm, the patient came in, he was a young man, about 23, 24, and he was severely burnt over, all on the, over the chest wall. And he... As a result, he got contractures, and that's what these bones burns do. They they make the the muscle stiff, and yeah. turn it into into like um, sinew. And he couldn't lift his arms above his head because his his, his arms were locked with these yeah. muscles here being severely burnt. And I rubbed some cream, a combination of cream and a bit of spray, yeah. over these two areas. And he went like this, and then he struggled, and he kept trying, and you could see him, and he gradually moved up like that. Yeah. In 10 minutes, he had his arms up like that, and he was going. Yeah. He couldn't believe it, and that's a miracle. Yeah. No, one's, no one in the world can do that, right? But I've just done it. Yeah. And these patients, what the, what the wheatgrass is going to do is help prevent those contractures. Yeah. So they don't get to that point. Yeah. And if they do get to that point, we can help them move yeah. again, right? Well, it's pretty disabling if you can't, if you've burnt your hand and you can't straighten your fingers. Yeah, yeah. Right? So we can help with a lot of these things. It's not going to work 100%. It's going to make no, a heck of a difference. If, yeah. So, and it'll save lives by preventing infection. Yeah. And these people die of shock as well because they lose a lot of fluid, body fluid, a lot of protein, and they get infected. Yeah. And... Uh, so they die of shock and infection, basically. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the little kids, babies, burns, you know, two-year-olds, three-year-olds covered in burns. You know, we can save them. Yeah. I know we can do that, but I've known that for a long time, but this is the first opportunity I've ever had to get near a burns unit. Yeah. Long way away from here, but, you know. It's still. Yeah, it's a 12-hour flight.